The disputed election in Iran leads to worldwide protests today, including here in the Bay Area. Good evening, I'm Diane Dwyer. Protesters in San Francisco join thousands around the world demonstrating against Iran's human rights record. This comes on the same day that Iran's Revolutionary Guard warned that Iran would strike back with missiles if attacked by Israel. NBC Bay Area's Joe Rosado Jr. has the story of one Bay Area man who says his life has been forever changed by the abuses in Iran. I escaped from Iran during the Iran-Iraq war with my American mother and my brother. 32-year-old Taraj Zaim hasn't seen his father since he was 10 years old. He says his dad, Karash Zaim, has been in and out of Iranian prisons criticizing the government. He was arrested about a week after the June 12th elections, shortly after he spoke to Radio CBC Canada, um, saying that we would not stop, he would not stop, the protests would not stop. With his father in jail, the younger Zaim has become his father's voice, speaking out about alleged human rights abuses in Iran. I know my father's fighting for what's right. And he knows what he's doing. And until Iranians have basic human rights and democracy, I know he'll feel like he's in prison anyway. Today, Zaim joined hundreds of demonstrators gathering in San Francisco's Civic Center. The rally was to call attention to what they say is Iran's stained human rights record. Everyday people in Iran with dignity and in peaceful protests are asking for their voices to be heard and they're being killed, they're disappearing. The rally was one of more than a hundred worldwide. Organizers hope to pressure the UN to investigate claims of abuse following the controversial re-election of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. We, we like to, uh, most uh, democratic countries to support the Iranian movement, Iranian people, not to recognize this president. He is not true Iranian president. Liberty and freedom will come to the people of Iran sooner rather than later. Let it happen. Among those speaking before the sea of Iranian flags, activists and politicians like Attorney General Jerry Brown. Many of the signs bore the picture of Zaim's father. To many, he's become a symbol of what they say is an assault on democracy in Iran. To Zaim, it's a personal reminder of the struggle ahead. Joe Rosado, Jr., NBC Bay Area News.